Hello everyone, Mantis Dude 101 here. Today we're going to be talking about Orchid Mantis Care. Okay, so let's get started. Orchid Mantis, the most beautiful and famous, the Hymenopus Coronatus. I'm going to get out my nice sub adult female here. Beautiful and I really love her. I really do like her. This is my favourite species personally. Oh, she's called Orca, by the way. I tend to name some of my more valued individuals. They're so slow and they're quite friendly, but you shouldn't house them communally due to the fact the females are very aggressive feeders. You can see, they're the most common to buy as prey and mat. Well, hard to find, expensive, but the most popular ones due to just their beauty, really. I'm just going to pop her back on there. These guys come from Malaysia. You're going to need to miss their enclosure a lot um that's um toki fiber eco earth i think um you're just gonna you know add lots of molten platforms and stuff these guys don't miss molt so much like people are gonna tell you these guys are really hard to keep they are not um i mean they're not a beginner species if you starting out you know spodra mantis verdis mantis religiosa you know all these Easy Chinese mantids, easy species. These guys, I'd say, are medium to care. People make out like they're the hardest species. That would be the Idola mantis diabolica over there in that large mesh enclosure. They're the hardest to keep. These guys are actually pretty easy. They like it really humid, really warm temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, what are you going to feed them? Stay here. People say you're going to need to feed them only flies because they adapt most well to this. Once you can wean them onto roaches, they do perfectly fine on a staple diet. Oops, not that over. She's alright. Um, of these dubias, or you can use, you know, red runners. Keep them on top of my fish tank, extra warm. Red runners up there, you know. Find a decent meaty meal, just gut load them. Feed them to your mantids. Babies, fruit flies green bottles, you know, for, I'd say, like, L5 onwards, house flies, maybe L4, actually, probably L5 they'll take the house flies from. This is a very jumpy, but very cool, L4, orchid mantis, it's still really young, she's a female, I think, so yeah, just thought I'd show her. So these guys, basic rundown, humid, warm, very tall enclosures, they need very good ventilation, which is why I use coarse ventilation. You know, putting some flies, but once you wean them onto roaches, they can live on that. Right, this has been a Hymenopus coronatus or Orchid Mantis care video. Bye bye.